Our special series, Alan's Road Trip, continues with part four. Tonight, he's headed to Baldwin County, riding with Mayor Tony Cannon of Orange Beach. Alan Carter talks with the mayor about all things beach, from traffic to hangout. When you're running a town with the word beach in the name, you know you're in a pretty good spot. We want to be totally different from any other resort in the world. Such is the case for Tony Kinnon, the mayor of Orange Beach. <laughs> and with all the beautiful sights around us, it wasn't the sandy beaches he wanted to show first, but he was most excited about their roads. This is where the majority of the traffic heads out of town during checkout or anytime there's a rainy day and they're leaving the beach to go shopping or whatever, so this could get really, really congested. Orange Beach just finished adding another lane to Canal Road, the main entry and exit into the city. And traffic is one of our greatest challenges. And, and you can see, I mean, this is a Thursday midday, and you can see the traffic. Congestion is a reoccurring theme for Kennan, pointing to the toll bridge leading from the Beach Express, where he says there's a need for more construction. We're negotiating with the bridge company now to build a twin to this, which will then give us two lanes north, two lanes south, but uh, we need the two lanes to eliminate the bottleneck, especially with an evacuation situation. We've got to be able to move traffic. There are only about 6,000 permanent residents of Orange Beach, but at any given time, that number can swell to over 150,000. No doubt bottlenecks will be an issue this week in particular as the beaches get ready to host this year's Hangout Festival. One you'd imagine would be an economic boom for Orange Beach, but Kennan says he'd rather do without it. I'm just not a big fan of Hangout Festival. No? Uh, no, I'm not a Hangout fan. I'm not a fan at all. Um, to me, it's a violation of our brand. We're a family-friendly brand. Um, I, I, don't, I don't care for anything that brings uh, a high incidence of drug use or underage drinking or anything of that nature because that's not who we are. Maintaining that family reputation is key for Mayor Tony as we headed to the area where he says their bread is buttered. I'm a little bit overdressed today. Well, that's right. I, I battled whether I should put a suit on no, and you're... then everybody would make fun of me. So why are you in a suit? Tony, you're at the beach. This is why people come to Orange Beach and the city puts considerable effort to keep it looking this way. I just think it's safe. I think of clean. I think of, you know, this is, we call it uh, the, the Mayberry of the Beach. Even though none of these beaches are actually city property, much of the sand line is actually owned by the state. Orange Beach, though, and Gulf Shores foots the bill to clean every inch over a million dollars a year. We are the stewards of the beaches of Alabama. We don't consider these our beaches. These are the beaches of Alabama. To that end, the city is also spending money to revamp this overlook. The seawall has been compromised, so you see the damage. Fixing damage to Alabama Point comes to a tune of $300,000. Uh, we're going to dig up all of this asphalt. We're going to come back in with sand. We're going to landscape it. We're going to build a boardwalk, a uh, handicap accessible boardwalk, and uh, get rid of all this fence and get this back. To where people can use it again. Keeping up these beaches comes with a price tag, but that's the cost of paradise. And we're now in the home stretch here. More on our next part of our series. Our final road trip is tomorrow, and we're riding with our very own Mel Showers, who's been in Mobile for a decade, telling us stories. But tomorrow, we get to talk a little bit about his own. That's tomorrow night at 5 and 10 o'clock. For now, live in the studio, Ellen Carter, News 5.